when I'm asking about. I just remember your song. Hey guys, it's Gretchen, and um, today I'm going to be showing you the new gift that my husband got me for Christmas. This is the Capresso Espresso and Latte Maker. This is their four cup um, version. I'll put exactly what it's called on the screen. But my husband knows that I'm a bit of a coffee enthusiast and so he got this for me for Christmas so I could make my own espressos and lattes at home. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this thing works and tell you what I think about it. First of all, even though I am a coffee enthusiast, I am definitely a novice. I don't know everything that I'm doing. So be gentle, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this thing works. Um, this is a very entry level machine. I'm really enjoying it. I really love what it's making. I've only had this for a short while, so I can't tell you how the longevity of the machine is at this point. Um, and I also haven't owned any really expensive machines. Right now we're just using a Keurig. Uh, we have our own coffee grinder. Um, and then I usually have been frothing my milk with a frother that I bought on Amazon. Um, so this is new to me, but I've been loving it. So let me go ahead and show you how easy this thing is. So I've got everything pre-measured um, and I can tell you the measurements on the screen so that um, you'll know exactly what to do. This machine is a high pressure, it steams the water and it slowly brings the steam through the coffee and drips it into your little carafe there. It makes up to four cups in this carafe. You do want to be very careful because it creates a lot of pressure and a lot of heat that you have these closed really tightly. Um, and make sure that when you turn it on, you don't already have pressure built up in here. And I'll show you at the end how you release the pressure, but if you wanted to just turn this, you'll know that there's no pressure because the pressure is released from this valve. This is the steamer and the uh, pressure release, so or the steam release. So that, obviously, I have nothing in there. It's not blowing any steam or anything like that. So I'll go ahead and tighten that. You wanna make sure that's tightened before you start. So what I'm going to do first before even starting is I'm going to grind my beans. So if you already have beans that are ground, you're gonna to wanna to skip to, I'll put the timestamp here. If not, you wanna grind these beans at to kind of a medium ground. You don't want them really fine or really coarse, just right in the middle. So I'll go ahead and grind these really quickly. And I like to fill my grinder all the way up and I'll link these all in my Amazon store in the bottom in the description. Um, all the items that I have bought I have purchased from Amazon um, besides maybe this but I'll find it. So this I really love because it is a canister that keeps your coffee beans really airtight. It's especially, it's especially made for coffee so it's got so it's got like an airtight um, little thing here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and these are just espresso beans by Starbucks and they're the dark roast obviously because they're espresso and I'm going to fill this cup up all the way and then put it in place and I'm just going to grind these until I get them to the desired uh, coarseness that I want. medium and then I just like to pour this whole thing into my canister. I'll usually grind up like a few days worth and then that way I've got really fresh grounds. I don't like having too much stored up because then I feel like they are at risk of losing their freshness. Now that I've got my coffee grounds, um, the machine does come with this little tamper which it says you don't really really have to push those grounds down at all but it also comes with this nice scoop. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill my filter to the desired amount. Um, I like filling it to the four cup. Okay so I've got it at the max capacity line and then I'm going to stick it inside of 
this and then I'm going to lock it into place. So to do that, you can see in the machine that the unlock position is here. So you just need to stick it in its correct position and turn it until it's locked into position. Um, so now it's nice and locked in there. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is fill my water up above the metal line here. So you just want to fill it to the top of here, which I believe is about 12 ounces. And then you're going to put that inside this container, which again, like I said, you want to make sure that there is no steam built up, that you um, release the steam correctly at the end of the last process. And then we're going to pour it in. And then you're going to screw this lid on and make sure that it is screwed tightly. Next, you're going to put the lid back on your little carafe here. And you're going to put it in place, like so. And then we're going to turn your machine on right here on that power switch. And as you listen, you'll start to hear it making a boiling noise. So we'll start to see this fill up and once it gets to the two, that's when you want to know. There we go, we'll put that on the strongest coffee. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure that this is on the cup symbol and it's right now I want it on the strongest. So we're gonna watch this start to fill up and once it gets to the two, um, I can start steaming my milk. So I've got my milk in this um, container. This is a brewmate. Uh, kind of wine flask that I actually use for coffee. Um, I like using this because this is a 12 ounce size and you do want to use something that can have a 12 ounce capacity even though you've got eight ounces of milk in here because you need that room for it to steam um, and you need something that fits underneath this. You can hear it starting to steam in there. Again, you want to make sure that this valve is turned all the way to the right to hold the steam in. gotten up to the first line. We just need to get up to the two. We need to drop our milk and then we'll flip it back over. Okay, so now that it's at the two, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push that over to steam and I'm going to put my cup underneath this and you want to only go to the top of here with your milk. And then once I'm there, I'm going to let this nozzle open so that I can start frothing my milk. And the more you open the nozzle, the more steam it's going to push through. I like using these because they're insulated, so you don't feel the milk is so hot on your hand. Not quite good. And this does take some finesse. You'll get better with time. I'm still not super great at it. Now that I'm done, I'm going to make sure that I turn the machine off and then I've got my thing turned to steam and I'm going to release all the steam that's still built up inside of the machine. And this will just ensure that you have safely removed all that steam that's built up in here so that when you go to open it, there's not a problem in the future when you're going to make your new espresso. And then this is all the steps that you'll do for an espresso. You don't have to obviously do the milk portion um, if you're just doing an espresso. But as I said before, I'm making a latte, so I have to froth and steam my milk. And while that's finishing up and isn't so noisy now, I'll just pour my espresso into my mug. And set it aside. 
side to be clean. Okay, so now I can pour some sugar in my latte to taste. And then I can pour my steamed milk in there. As well as the froth on top. budget-friendly machine. I want to say that this retails for about $60 on Amazon. Um, my husband actually bought ours at Kohl's um, because that's where he wanted to buy it from, but it is a really inexpensive machine. It has a small footprint. It doesn't take up a lot of space on our counter. I'll insert a picture here and show you what that looks like next to our Keurig, um, but it doesn't take up a lot of space. This isn't usually where I do it. I do it over at our coffee station. Um, it's pretty quick. Uh, the first time that I read the instructions, I was kind of overwhelmed and thought that it was going to be a little more intense than I was hoping for. But once we figured out how to do it, it was really simple. Again, you just want to make sure that you're following the safety precautions on this um, so that you're not getting hurt. But for $60, I mean, it's, it's, going to save us a lot of money over time and it does make a, a really good tasting latte. The espresso is really strong um, also. So that is my review and how to on the Capresso Cappuccino Espresso Latte Maker. I hope you enjoyed it and that it was helpful for you and we'll catch you on the next one. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you.